Hey everyone, today I'm going to have this quick video about the Autogen uh, UI, which is actually maintained by Autogen team. It's currently working to plot a chart of NVIDIA and Tesla. You can actually find more information about this if you go to Autogen RA PyPy package, and you can actually read about it. So this is pretty new, I suppose, and a little known secret. Here you can generate a general agent workflow and visualization agent workflow. They do... Uh, they do say that they're going to provide support for more complex agent workflows, such as group chat. But here you can pick your agent workflow and you can actually take a look at the settings here. Makes consecutive auto reply, uh, human input mode. This as an our visualization assistant makes consecutive auto reply, human input mode and system message. You can change all these and you can set your models here too. It also refers to Zephyr, but um, I'm not sure how that works. Once this is running, you can actually uh, see where you run this from your I ran it from Visual Studio Code using Windows Linux subsystem. And uh, you can actually see the interactions of the agents right here. You, can, you also have global skills, which are tools, right? Functions. Uh, the beautiful part is that you can, all you have to do is just define the function with some doc strings. And I believe your function definitions are generated automatically. Uh, it has find our papers from archive. It searches archive for given query and returns results. It also has generate images, which uses DALI, and also a fetch profile, which actually goes to a, a URL and actually scrapes it. You can add new skills. There's an example skill here, which creates some ASCII art. You can actually write your function here and I paste it here, and then this should work. Here is the chart that was just created. You can also see the code that it produced to run this. So it's pretty easy to install this, but um, I did realize that it doesn't run very well on Windows. So that's why you need to have Windows uh, Linux subsystem installed on Windows. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is just run this command. I'll put this link in the description along with the PyPy to this uh, library. After that, all you have to do is pip install Autogen RA, and you can also install it from source too. But I just pip installed Autogen RA using the Windows uh, Ubuntu terminal. Once you install Windows sub, uh, system for uh, Windows Linux subsystem, and you'll actually get here a Git. Um, you will be able to create a Ubuntu terminal just like this. And here you will do your pip install here, and then you will have to export your API key. You will do this like this: open OpenAI API key equals then your key here, just like this without quotation marks. Once you do that. Then you'll have set your API key. And then next up is you run the server by running autogen RA UI dash dash port and uh, specify a port number just like that. And when you run this, then the web app will start. Then you can actually go to here simply uh, just like this. And then you can start talking with your agent. Like I said, you can pick the general work agent workflow or visualization agent workflow. You can check out the settings. You can check out the uh, skills, uh, also create new skills. You can clear the conversation history by, by clicking this. That will delete your sessions. You can create a new session. And let's do the sine wave. Yeah, see, uh, my API key is not set. Let me go ahead and set it real quick. Apparently, you do have to set it every time. Okay, I have set my API key, and now it's running. I, do, uh, I don't know where it saves the files, actually, so I can't see them here. Uh, I just, just recently found out about this. So it executed the code block and hopefully we should, oh, see, it doesn't, uh, see, here we go. It's the sine wave visualization along with the code that generated it. You can also do markdown list out top five rivers in Africa. Their links return as a markdown table. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, like I said, all you have to do is install Windows uh, Linux subsystem and pip install and run the server. That's it. So this is pretty cool. Here we go. It actually created a markdown. Let's uh, ask it to retrieve some papers. I don't know what's going to happen. I tried to type uh, retrieve papers related to LLM memory. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Uh, it's working currently. So here it actually went ahead and retrieved four, pa five papers. This is pretty cool. It hasn't reflected here uh, on the UI yet. I believe that the process is still ongoing. I'll talk to you about my Echo Hive AI Academy, where you can find and search all my videos and projects that I have created. There's over uh, 200 projects here. It's echohive.live. 
And if you do become a patron, you'll be able to download the code files for all these projects. If you do become a patron, I appreciate your support. Also, check out the new app that I built, uh, CodeHive. At CodeHive, there's over 900 GPT-powered Python applications. You can simply search for the stuff that you're looking for, copy this code, and run it. Uh, just like it's a great search functionality. Also, I'm working on a uh, Everything GPT API course. I'm con con continuously adding to it. As a patron at $30 uh, level, you'll be able to have access to this. Just check it out, and thank you for your support. So here it has retrieved the papers and actually summarized that to us here, along with their links. Uh, there we go. So it's pretty cool. Uh, maybe I'll make some more videos on this. Uh, remember, you can actually add new skills. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. Maybe we'll create some uh, agent workflows with this in future videos. There's also a dark mode, which is really nice. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.